Hi, Governor. I wanted to ask you about um, the, uh, you know, fight going on between Elon Musk and Alameda County public health officers right now about the Tesla manufacturing plant. Does your administration consider car manufacturing to be an essential part of the economy during this time? And do you think that Tesla should be allowed to reopen with proper safety guidelines in place to uh, resume manufacturing right now? Yeah, so manufacturing, as I noted just in the outset of the conversation here today, mentioned a full week ago, in the state of California, uh, we have made meaningful modifications uh, on manufacturing and logistics, including, by the way, just on the front end, car dealers that go back many, many weeks. Modifications uh, were made earlier on in that space. So that's, that's our position as a state. Uh, as you just heard me say a moment ago, I'll repeat, uh, we recognize localism uh, both from uh, a county. Um, previous call and questions about a county who wants to go further uh, and other counties that don't want to even go as far as the state, which is the case in Alameda County. Uh, my understanding is uh, they have had some very constructive conversations uh, with the folks at that facility, the county health director, and they're working uh, to focus on the health and safety uh, of the employees at that facility. Uh, and my belief and hope and expectation is as early as next week uh, they will be able to resume. I'm certainly encouraged uh, by what I'm hearing in that space. Uh, and again, I, I respect uh, the decision on a regional basis of these counties coming together uh, on the basis of what's happening on the ground conditions as they present themselves uniquely in the Bay Area as one example versus other parts of the state. But manufacturing broadly uh, throughout the state of California uh, is no longer uh, restricted with modifications. Bill Willen, LA Times. Uh, hi, Governor. Um, given the, the state warning letters that were sent out to Yuba and Center counties um, last week threatening some of their emergency funding and aid, what powers of the state are you willing to exercise to enforce the state restrictions? I mean, funding, business licensure, and, and secondly, um, as this is kind of a follow-up to something you mentioned last week, but Major League Baseball has since uh, put out a proposal to return to playing in early July with no fans. And um, each game would still, con would still need about or require about 100 people to be in the empty stadiums. Is the state going to allow something like that based on what you know? Yeah, we, we talked, I talked to the commissioner of Major League Baseball, and he said, we won't do anything that's not consistent with state guidelines. So I'm not concerned about what they do as long as it's consistent with state guidelines. Uh, we'll see where we will be uh, in July. Uh, I'm very encouraged uh, by the progress the state of California has made to date, uh, and we are making meaningful modifications in real time. We'll be in make, making subsequent announcements tomorrow as it relates to putting out the guidelines uh, for these regional uh, variations uh, that uh, can be self-attested towards uh, or to. Uh, but we certainly uh, look forward to Major League uh, Baseball uh, and all sports resuming, but again, uh, the question is when, and that it will be determined on the basis of public health and public safety uh, and the spread of this virus. And so we will see in that space. As it relates to the issue of enforcement, I've uh, been very clear in the past. You've heard me say on multiple occasions just number of contacts we've made to businesses that have opened, understandably frustrated and concerned. They opened a little bit earlier than perhaps they should have for the, the, the protection of their own uh, employees, let alone uh, their customers. And the vast majority of them have been contacted, uh, have uh, applied uh, caution and uh, have reconsidered uh, their opening. So it's not heavy fisted uh, or heavy handed rather uh, or closed fisted. Uh, we will continue to work as collaborative as possible. And as I said, the spirit of the work we're doing with these counties has been incredibly collaborative. Now, we'll see in every case 
not every county is going to be able to get a variance. I imagine that will there will be expressions of frustration and angst in that respect. And uh, if they, you know, jump ahead, uh, we'll continue to use the tools that many local governments have already been using. Uh, but you mentioned two counties uh, that have been incredibly cooperative uh, over the course of the last week, and we're having some very good conversations. And there's those examples you used are sort of proof points of, of, uh, of confidence that I have that we'll be able to work through a lot of the differences we may have. Ben Christopher, Cal Matters. Hey, Governor. So just to piggyback on what Alexi was asking about Elon Musk. So he, in his Twitter thread, <laughs> said that he will relocate his headquarters to Texas or Nevada, um, both of which have eased their shelter-in-place restrictions more than California. So wasn't it the purpose of the Western States Pact of which Nevada is a part to avoid a situation like this where different state mandates can create confusion or competition. And I guess more specifically, do you have a response to businesses like Tesla that might be considering divesting from California because of the stricter public health orders here? Yeah, the, the Western State Pact was about many things. It wasn't about uh, any one thing or another. In fact, very substantive is about what we were announcing today, a joint letter. Uh, it's about sharing of best practices. It's about a more collaborative spirit. Uh, it's about recognizing uh, there's regional variations within our own states. I mentioned on multiple occasions, I'll reinforce it here today, uh, the incredible uh, council support and advice we got from Colorado and Oregon, just as two proof points, on our regional variation plan uh, that they had moved forward with, that uh, we are moving forward with as well as just examples of us working collaboratively. Uh, look, as it relates to Tesla, I, I have long been a strong advocate and supporter, early adopter of the technology. Uh, I have uh, not only known that company, uh, but I've known its founder for many, many years. I have great reverence uh, for their technology, for their innovative spirit, uh, for their leadership, uh, and I have great expectations uh, that we can work through at the county level the issue with this particular county uh, and this company in the next number of days. So, uh, look, I have more confidence moving forward uh, in our ability to support a company that this state has substantively supported uh, for now many, many years. And in return, uh, we have uh, been beneficiaries of their incredible growth, uh, ingenuity, and innovative spirit. Uh, we look forward to many, many decades of that relationship. And I know many of us are frustrated uh, by where we are in this pandemic. Uh, some of this, uh, you know, a lot of this, most all of it, uh, no one could have ever seen coming. But we're working through all these issues in real time. We're getting very close. Uh, even those Bay Area modifications uh, come in in the next number of days, within a week or so. And I'm confident we'll get through this, regardless of what some people are saying uh, on social media and, uh, and in the press currently. 